startling crime in Queens. Police say a teenager snuck into a junior high school and robbed a child at knife point. Investigators say the suspect then went on to attack a man nearby and terrorize a deli owner. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports from Briarwood. Pradal Singh, the man behind the counter, says he demanded to see identification from this man dressed all in black, trying to buy several beers from his deli on Parsons Boulevard. He says the man refused, called him names, then took down his mask and spit in his face. So he chased him out of the store. In a few seconds, he come back again. He said, come outside. I said, no. He grabbed that croissant box, he dropped in the floor. It happened last Wednesday at 2.45 p.m. Just 15 minutes earlier, police say the same man gained entry to Robert Van Wick Jr. High School down the street on 144th and robbed an 11-year-old at knife point in the bathroom. Scary, because I do have an 11-year-old, and she's, she's in the sixth grade. It gives me anxiety uh, having to drop my son to school and not knowing that he's safe. That could have happened to him. Officers released this police sketch of the suspect. They say he pointed a knife at the student's chest and demanded money. When the student said he didn't have any, the attacker grabbed his water bottle and took off. The child was not physically hurt. There's not enough people to watch these kids. On every entrance and exit, there should be somebody there. School officials have not said how that suspect managed to get inside. We reached out to the Department of Education. A spokesperson only said that safety agents responded quickly and the DOE is working with the NYPD to ensure the building is safe. Police say the same suspect also approached a 51-year-old man a couple blocks from the school at 149th Street, started an argument, then pulled out a knife and tried to lunge at his throat. The victim told police the man kept slashing at him until he cut his jacket, then threw a water bottle at him and took off. Police described the suspect as 5'2", weighing 110 pounds, wearing all black. Investigators hope someone recognizes him and turns him in. In Briarwood, Queens, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.